Alright. Hopefully everything's good today. Tonight. Um, not 100% sure what's going on with the weather, actually, tonight. Because it's, uh, it's kind of rain. It's, uh, hailing a little bit. Stuff's happening. Hope, it, hope, hope it'll be fine. Should be alright. I should be. Right now I'm good. We'll see if that changes. I will admit to I have drank some wine and I'm before this and I'm like, oh hey. That felt pretty good. I had I had one I had one glass before stream and I was like, hey. Friday night wine. And that's pretty good. I hadn't seen it. It was like I had one I had one little bit left in my that bottle I had. Yeah, you can just watch me do it. Hey, Burger Sama, how's it going? I am thinking to myself, and I am contemplating, hopefully, that the stream won't, like, die tonight because of the, of the weather. Hopefully it's alright. I haven't seen anything too bad, at least, so it should be alright. <coughs> Excuse me. That's weird. Good, yeah, no, it's been great, yeah. Still looking good. Glad things are looking nice. Things have improved uh things have improved around here. I'm not sure how long it's been since, but I've improved the uh some of the stuff in time, but it's been a little while since I've done so. Okay, there's one. So I stopped right before Jabba Jabba's belly, so we are now here. We are ready to go. This is the first thing we're doing tonight. Don't remember the plushie? <laughs> I got sent the plushie from a friend who uh, had it for another friend's stream, and I was like, eh, I put the plushie there too. My friend Polly puts the, uh, the, uh, the plushie, the, uh, the the uh, uni plushie as well uh, in her background and I'm like oh yeah that's you know what I'm just gonna do that too <laughs> all right now I was like yeah She can't go home right now. Nope, alright. She fell in the hole. She should probably go down the hole too. Yo, hey Millie! He <laughs> went live and got distracted. It happens. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabba Jabba's belly since I was little. Strange holes. All right. You know what? I do prefer this escort mission. This is the escort mission I prefer. Hold up one second. Thank you. 
There we go. That's not bad. Alright, where was I doing? Oh yeah, I was doing uh, good things. There we go. Oh shoot, I forgot to get this thing. I'm gonna hit this gold sculpture level real quick. There we go. We get the boomerang in here too, so that'll make things easier for these uh, pieces as a child. Tried. Oh shoot, did I leave her? Crap. Where does she show up again? I forget. Oh well. Is she back in the top room or the bottom room? I forget if I accidentally leave her. I know the boss room is that way, but we can't get there yet. Not without lowering the thing. Okay, yeah, she's back at the bottom. Okay, I have to go back. Yeah, she's back here. Can't do that yet. Okay, yeah. The first thing I gotta do is go back to that top room with carrying her and do the the top section of this dungeon first to get the I think we get the boomerang there. To then take out this green thing. Which will take us to the mini boss room. That's how we do this. Alright, wife number four. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> well, there, there's Soraya. There's Malin. There's Zelda herself. And now there's Rudo. <laughs> and then there's the cuckoo lady who is honorary wife. You know. As she is. Yeah, Zelda does count. <laughs> Zelda absolutely counts in, in Ocarina of Time. And we're just gonna go this way. All right, let me just sit right here. Just hold that for me. Thanks. Ah. Not that one yet. Squigglies, squigglies. Okay, yeah, we're going this way. There's the switch we need to hit. The switch, it doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone. Fortunately. I have two weights. Now you wait right here. One. Actually, I probably don't need, I probably don't need those anymore for right now, because everything in this dungeon pretty much gets killed by the boomerang. Grabby, 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 grabby. Let's avoid the stuff. Yeah, too bad you don't get to use it very much. Um, there are technically two more t child dungeons, but they are later. <laughs> But you get a lot of use out of it in this dungeon. It's the map. It's part of the map. Now, I have a question. Who made this map? <laughs> who map Who went inside this fish and said... I'm gonna map it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
fish book. And here's probably the, I think the compass, yeah. Thought I'm gonna go for a heart. There we go. Compass. I think the other slimy tentacle was over here, yeah. Here's the blue tentacle. good. You come with me. Run, run, run. of tentacle, aren't you? Oops. See, we still got it. easier. Oh shoot, there's another one. Man. This fish swallowed a lot of spiders. Huh. She does have eyes right there. To know for research purposes. There it is. <laughs> I'll let you do it. Sounds good. All right, I'm going this way.
this boss. This mini boss. Go back around. The tentacles took the fish girl. Okay. Well. Is the remainder of the dungeon over there, but we're gonna first go back over here real quick. Actually, this is just all it is, okay. I was thinking there was something here, but. There's fairies. There's rupees. And we climb. Hey. Alright, nothing major over there, just a bunch of rupees, which was, you know, fair enough with how I'm playing this game. No bottled fairies, no. Maybe milk use. I, I, I typically don't. I just use potions. These days, if I need to. There you are. It's like three of those guys in here. Maybe four.
And it is time for whatever the heck this thing. It's a big jellyfish. We're gonna, I don't know. It's a bunch of jellyfish. That makes one big jellyfish. Then an anemone. That's what it is. It fires lasers. I like this guy. This guy's great. They don't make him like this anymore. Here we go. Here we go. I was lifting a pot. Could not have waited until I was done. There we go. Look, it comes to the fish girl. Yeah, sorry, it's always this way. It's happened a couple times already. You just get floated up in the air. Now we're out of the dungeon, don't worry. We just want that spiritual stone. Look, we do need that spiritual stone.
You obtain Zora Sapphire. <laughs> and Link's just trying to kick. Her most precious... You don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> but you finally have all three Spiritual Stones. Well, all right. We just kick him while he's holding this item. I already got Pharaoh's Wind, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. We will probably go ahead and do the Zelda stuff now. And we will move on to do... We're going to do a couple other things before we actually do the... Uh the door of time stuff. Can you get that now or later? I feel like I can't do that yet. I'm not going to worry about it for now. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. We get 60 or 70. Okay, 60. We're going to go and do some bean planting. <laughs> Before we uh, do some stuff.
though, first, let's go ahead and determine the uh, other stuff here. Uh-oh. That moon's going down. That's weird. That's strange. Hopefully that's fine. Yeah, she really does. Hold up. I could give I could give Ganondorf a really funny voice if I really wanted to. You know, like, hey, <laughs> you want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. But <laughs> but this uh, ruins the uh, the best theme of all of Zelda, which is uh, Ganon's theme. The best song, the best song in the entire Zelda series. Uh, it's Ganon's theme. <laughs> that I might be, I might agree with that actually statement. I think I might actually agree with that statement. <laughs> uh, hey, let's go diving. Let's go find out what she threw here. I found the title drop.
All right. We are not going to do that right now. <laughs> we are going to go look for a guy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll get to those temples. Those are coming. Those are coming up. We still got plenty of game left. That guy. I want that guy. That guy right there. I'm going to sell him a hat. Once he rests. I think that's how you have to do it. My my personal favorite song in Zelda entirely is uh is a version of Ganon's theme, but it's in Majora's Mask. It is the uh, final hours. <laughs> Which is also the uh, song before the final boss, as well. That is probably my favorite theme in all of Zelda. We need your pea hats. I'm gonna keep up with this guy. Hold up. He's got to rest eventually. The, uh, the Link to the Past version of it is probably my other favorite version of it, though. The Where it originally is. bet with those long ears, you could hear the voices. Oh, these are genuine rabbit ears from the Animal of Legend. I don't care how expensive it is. Please sell it to me. My long-time dream returning to the wildlife. Finally, the actress, stage, and prop have been united. Yeah, we want to be as empty as possible when we sell that mask because he fills you up. <laughs> he fills you up. Alright. And now that we've sold we've sold all the Avon, we can now get the Mask of Truth and we can have some fun. Also, a, uh, we're going to go do this scene real quick before we do that, too. Actually, yeah, let's go to the scene now. Okay, 
Let's see what's happening. Here you go. Are you the boy from the forest? I, I finally met you. I have something to tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed her king. Zelda's nanny impa since danger and escaped from the castle with her with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but the princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give you something, something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the temple of time. He's not moving anymore. He's not moving anymore. <laughs> yeah, we sold it. All the masks are sold out. And now we can borrow any mask we want. But it does not let you talk to dogs. Wrong game. We'll let them do what they want. But now we can talk to gossip statues. That guard had no idea what was going on with the castle. It's funny. <laughs> Uh, there's a couple things we can do. Before we go. The ranch. I've already done the opponent stuff at the ranch, um, but I think legalized ranch. Ranch is forbidden, Millie. how we get into the ranch at night. Now we're going to do ranch things at night.
they have spiders here. And holes. Oh, this is just business clubs. Okay. It's all right. No. Oh, oh, oh. oh, they don't close the ranch. Oh. Huh, I thought they closed the ranch at night. Never mind, what was I thinking? What game am I thinking? Am I thinking Majora's Mask? Am I getting Majora's Mask confused with uh, Ocarina of Time again? Probably. Banning the streamer. <laughs> Tom is getting video games confused again. That's all of it. I hear one. There you are. Damn spiders. I'm not doing 100% for this game, by the way, but I am doing a lot. I should probably mention that up front. <laughs> There's a lot of spiders, okay? Alright. Like I said, remember when everybody complained that this world was too big? I remember, like, a lot of complaints is about people going back to Ocarina of Time. They're like, man, this world is so big and empty. <laughs> and I'm just like, mm. you know, we had it good, didn't we? We really, we didn't know what we had. We really didn't. Visit the Gerudos. I wonder what they have to say about the happenings. Another one of those. No, another one of those bangers. This one in particular, I think, is the one everybody like loves. My memory, at least. I don't have business here. Hm. Nice though. Isn't there something down somewhere? Oh, 
Oh. Okay. I thought there was a, uh... Bean here. Okay. I might be wrong. No, I have a map. Like, I, there's a. I have a way to find this out. Hold on. Stay right here a second. Hold on. I'm. I'm getting something. I'm not even gonna mute. Pulled out my uh, one-page uh, map and like guide to like every single thing in this game. Well, it's a, it's not one page. It's it's a post. It's a, a three, three full, a two-fold poster with uh, two sides. Okay. I'm wrong. A lot of things. I'm wrong on a lot of things. Okay. I, I, I did some looking before we begun. Excuse the break. There's a lot we can do as a, as a child. I'm now realizing it's a lot. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. We're gonna do a couple things. I'm just gonna get enough for like maybe one. Plant a couple beans in places that we're gonna be going quickly. So I'll ignore the Lake Hylia stuff for right now because we'll come back to that.
You can put both of your feet behind your head as a job if you try to have the ER visit. <laughs> oh. Oh, our poor aching backs. <laughs> And our five. And our everythings. It's okay, I couldn't backflip as a child either. best we don't try. We ain't getting that far yet. We're gonna need uh, boots for that. Remember that for now. Until we get iron boots. Open up a couple things, go through a couple places, and then we'll, uh, we will get to, uh, Temple of Time sooner than later. No idea. Hey, Poncho, how's it going? You played this game once? I've, I've played it once. Twice. Okay, way more than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dom plays at night. Okay, yeah, hold, yeah we'll, we'll come back at night. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Snitch. <laughs> Everything else we gotta do around here is at night, so... Poncho has been, uh... Let's shout out Poncho a little bit. Poncho's been doing, uh, Final Fantasy VII streams recently. Um, as, as he's been able to. Uh, they've, they've been a fun watch so far. Poncho also plays old video games like I do, so... I understand. 
Oh. I actually don't... Uh, I don't have the versus book guide. I would love to... I, I used to own it. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. I used to have it as a kid. I know I did. I don't have it anymore. I don't know where it went... I don't know if it got misplaced somewhere, if it got, like, somewhere. I would love to own the Versus book one, though. I, I love, I love the Majora's Mask book so much. <laughs> and I would love to own that one. There's a couple of Versus book guides I would love to own. Um, that one, Ocarina of Time. Um, I have the Fantasy Star Online one that they did. And I would love to own the Grandia 2 one. I would love to own the Grandia 2 one. <laughs> Oh, that! Oh man, I I collect strategy guides. <laughs> it's probably the worst. Thing. It's probably a weird thing to collect, <laughs> you know. But I love them. Their FF7 guide is weird. Like, it's um. I know their FF7 guide was like one of the first ones they did. And it's a little, it's kind of bare bones, uh, from what I understand. Yeah, um, I I'm weird. I like, I like strategy guides a lot. <laughs> I know that's a weird thing to col to uh, look for because um because you don't need strategy guides at all, like at all. But they're very, I, I, they're very special to me. You really don't need them, but they're fun. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Internet Archive probably has PDFs and stuff as needed. Like, you know. But I do like finding them. Um, I forget who did it, uh, but I found the guy, I found a Brain Lord guide recently at a store. Way too expensive for paying for a strategy guide, but it was like one of the coolest things I've seen. Because Brain Lord's a cool game. We'll play that game someday. Yeah, I'm into him too. Oh, use the NES NES Atlas. That's another one I don't have. Uh, the Nintendo Power Guides, uh, those I have the Mario Paint one. Uh, that book's really special. I love that book. Um, and I also have the top secret one. Well, like the main one. And then I do have the Nintendo Power Guide for Link's Awakening and Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 3, 6, you know. And Super Mario RPG. I have that one too. Except the top secret one. Ah, oh, damn. My, I, I do have the Donkey Kong strategy guide, but it's like in pieces. But it's all put together in a binder, like with a with a page protect with a page protectors. All in a binder, so it's all together. But you know, it got used. 
It got used pretty good. <laughs> what do you have to say about stuff? They say that Vigoron's sword is super sharp and will never break. Alright. Red's Big Ron Sword! I forget where the uh, thing is in here. Is it? Am I able to get to it now? <laughs> he literally called it that. Prima guide. The Prima guide's respectable. The versus book one is hilarious. <laughs> Very 90s. They say that the horse Ganondorf rides the solid black Gerudo stallion. Nintendo Power Guide for zi uh, for, uh, for Pokemon. That's right. That one I do have. I'm looking for something. Of the old filing cabinet? Kinda. Kinda. I'm looking for something specific. Ah, I might just come back. I forget where it is. I, I know it was somewhere. The last time I replayed this, I was like, oh yeah, I can find it easily next time, but I forget. <laughs> The old safety deposit box. <laughs> Let's see. Not you. Okay, fine. Fine. I forget where to go anyway. Polly keeps all game receipts in the game table and husband. I keep game receipts in the cases. <laughs> so ever since I bought I think the first game I actually did that with was like Okami for PS2. And so I just do that now and so I actually I, I know how much I've bought certain games for. 
Not everything, but I do know a few things. I found my PS3 receipt and my copy of Artinella Kukova. The, the PS2 cop, the PS2 version is the one I have, so. I never played the Wii version of that game or anything like that. Yeah, I'd probably replay it, like, on the PS2. I, I don't know. Playing the Wii version was a mistake. I think... Oh, you know what? I was gonna do something else. What was the issue with the Wii version, if I may ask? Because I've never played that version of the game. I hear it's fine. I, I know some people who liked it better. And some people who don't. But I, I, I was never, like, sure on that. I know that was the thing, too. But uh, I, I had played it on PS2 anyway. Controls kind of suck. I can see it. What Wii game did I see recently at the local store? I saw Rygar on Wii. I saw the Wii version of Rygar. The, the, the main things I know about the Wii version of Okami is that it does have that Wii, Wii remote drawing. And also the uh, IGN... Like the IGN logo is on the uh, on the on the uh, cover for some reason. Oh shit! I've always felt the tracking of like the Wii remote was really good in certain games. Like Sin and Punishment Star Successor uh, is my example. Of like really good Wii remote tracking. <laughs> The game works well. Basically, whenever the Wii remote was used for pointing, I liked it more. <laughs> it didn't get very far. We might... I can see an Okami replay happening for myself one day, I... but it's been years. It's been... That game's been since high school. I, I have not played that game since high school. It's a long, it's long, but it's not like, it's honestly not that big of a game. Like, it's like, I think my final time back the, back in the day was like 30 something hours. Okay, like, I know that's long for a lot of people. I've seen much short, but it's like, that's, that's not as long for me, I know. Yeah, I, I, I was playing Second Opinion a few years ago. I enjoyed it. Okay, good. We can go that way. I was enjoying Second Opinion. That game's fun. I love Trauma Center. We should play the, We should play one of those one day. It'd be fun. I've, I've never played the DS versions of the Trauma Center games, though. I should do that one day. There we go. The Happy Goron. Now, I usually don't. Um, one game on my list of, of games to beat this year is, um, is Rodea the Sky Soldier. Uh, specifically the Wii version of that game because the Wii U version is a uh, garbage. So uh, I, I will see how I come back to Wii stuff. 
I put two Wii games on that list. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says about anything on a on a Yuji Naka or anything. Renee the Sky Soldier looks 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 incredible, like in different ways. I've I've had a copy of the game for years and I've just not played through it. <laughs> I tried playing the Wii U version first and it was garbage, but I've I have played the Wii version a couple a little bit before, and I liked it a lot more. So that's the version I'm gonna play through. I'm playing the Wii version, though, of it. I don't care. It's gonna be great. If it came out earlier on Wii... Well, that game was also, like... It did come out earlier on Wii. The problem is that it came out, like, way late in North America. <laughs> Like, when XSeed put the game out in North America, they, it was the Wii version, but they included the Wii version on its own disc. And the Wii U and 3DS versions are awful. <laughs> Hospital drama anime. I'm sure there is something. Uh, but yeah, there is Blackjack. Oh, wait, there's one, there's one of the Lost Woods, isn't there? Small holes around Hyrule make perfect breeding, uh, perfect breeding ground for bugs. There we go. That's what I want. Zor's River. Now, I know how to get this heart now. I, I know a few people who've watched Monster. I know my, I, I know, my, my brother's watched Monster before. I know for certain, but I haven't done it so myself. I want to go up here. I know I don't want to play the net yet. I have too much money. Okay, I hear I hear my target.
Legendary magic beans. Then he has one more magic. He has two more magic beans. Okay, one more. Be hundred rupees. I know, right? He keeps raising the price. He knows what he's doing. You have important chicken duties to do up here. Not there. No, no, no. Your chicken duties are up here. I can't believe I forgot about this. I am so picky when it comes to Doctor in a time. <laughs> uh, the N64 version is the one I like the most. I don't despise the uh, the 3DS version, but it, it's alright. I feel like I'm too picky with it, though. Feels too clean. Exactly. Too smooth. It doesn't, look, it doesn't not look. It doesn't look right to me. I mean, it's fine. Not Majora's Mask 3DS, at least. Ah, oh, it's fair. It does have Master Quest. I, I also have Master Quest though, so like you know. <laughs> That is how it is. Waiting a little bit. I, yeah, I, I definitely agree. You know, I was gonna do this, but I instead, you know what, we're, we're set. We're ready to go. I'm set up enough. Is that 19? Yeah.
Yeah, that's probably true. T uh, that's true too. They say that Gerudos sometimes come to Hyrule Castle Town to look for boyfriends. They say that it's against the rules to use glasses at the treasure chest shop in Hyrule Castle Town Market. They say that Malin of Lon Lon Ranch hopes a knight in shining armor will come and sweep her off her feet someday. Huh. I wonder what that's about. They say that Malin set the original record on the obstacle horse of Lon Lon Ranch. Okay, uh, this is like... Okay, so, yeah, pre so this game uses a combination of pre-rendered and, you know, 3D environments whenever necessary. This is like one of the absolute best pre-rendered environments ever we can agree right I, I love how this looks i've always loved this shot <laughs> i love how the mix uh, this game does do that mix a lot and this just this whole shot looks great Not quite though. It's also like it. The pre-rendered stuff still kind of matches the the look of the 3D environments, at least to a temple. Mm. And this is like maybe the most iconic thing. This is probably the most iconic room in this game for me. There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. Mm. That's a... Uh... And then this door. This door that everybody just had to get through. Like this or something, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Chris Hulahan's room. I'll show you clipping through it. I'm just gonna clip it out of existence. Look at my rocks. The only time you're hearing that song of the game. Right, yep, we already got we got them all. We got all the jelly right yeah, we got them all right here. That's the that's the uh, green apple flavor one, cherry flavor one, that's the blueberry flavor one. I love rocks. Yeah, they do look delicious. I'd lick them. I'd lick them. The Gorons were licking the ruby. There, there is definitely Goron saliva on that ruby. Yeah, blue raspberry. That, that's the flavor. It is. It said blueberry. Should I go get it? I don't know if I should touch it. Touching it might be a bad thing. Maybe I should save before I touch it. Oh, 
I don't know. Probably the rocks. Actually, you, you, um, you mentioned earlier, uh, Poncho, uh, Chris Houlihan. I watched a YouTube video a few, uh, a, a while back, uh, that posited a theory on Chris Houlihan, uh, that Chris Houlihan doesn't actually exist. <laughs> Due to the, uh, requirements of the, uh, that nobody has come forward ever, uh, legitimately as Chris Houlihan. And that the, uh, contest requirements from that time was to find was to find war mech in uh, Final Fantasy and take a picture of it. <laughs> and that nobody probably did that within the time of doing so. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know. I remember that. I didn't exist for that contest, so it's not me. Still good. Hold up, hold up, I gotta do my voice. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. This is my Ganon voice. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin that for everybody for the rest of their life now. Oh man! I pulled out a sword, and now I'm in a water. Uh, and now I'm in this like water room. He didn't really mess up. It was more like he didn't. He couldn't help it. <laughs> hey, it's raw. Look. Look, sir. I don't know. I don't know if that's what you actually look like now that I've played Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> it's just not the same. <laughs> Rahu means something different to me now. It's all good. It's all good. Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Water in its own timeline anyway. The evil destroying sword you pull out of the pedestal of time was the final key to the sacred realm. Don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Oh, damn. I'm hot. <laughs> Goat grandpa. <laughs> title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. Oh, you're too young to be the Hero of Time. Of course I was. But remember, though you open the door of time in the name of peace... Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. 
He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has little, only little influence even in this sacred realm, namely this Chamber of Sages. But there is still hope. Sages remain. The power of all sages is awakened. The sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of this realm. Of the realm, Iraru or in one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. Did you get all that? <laughs> Looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Oh no, they're hot. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the Hero of Time, the Awakened Ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. The legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. Get all that? <laughs> oh man. Can't use my main weapon anymore. We can't use sticks. Hold up. Ocarina down. Damn. That's rough up there. There's a canonical explanation for that. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm 
sure it's fine. Well, hey, look at that. We don't have to worry about the bridge anymore. Um, so. Two things we can do. Two paths lay out before us. We can make world map travel easier. Or we can go follow the story. Let's go make world map travel easier. Actually, I'm gonna go this first. Yeah, he has them too. You can see also that he has he has earrings too in the model. <laughs> He's got a little loop earrings in the model as well. This is the best video quality you're getting out of me. Uh for the N64, so. This is the best you're getting. I mean, I guess I could play the GameCube version if I really wanted to. If you see here, yeah, he's got him here too in the, uh, on the, on this model. Stable. Hi. Where did you come from? Since Ganondorf came, people in Castle Town have gone places. It gone places are ruined, and monsters are wandering everywhere. Mr. Ingo is just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. Everyone seems to be turning evil. But Dad, he was kicked out of the ranch by Mr. Ingo. If I disobey Mr. Ingo, he'll treat the horses so badly. There's nothing I can do. Hmm. Interesting. Well, wife number two will help. My fine horses, pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Thanks, Luigi. I had to ride a horse. Fish wife, royal wife, fish wife, and then also uh, chicken wife. Uh, she's an honorary wife. him twice, right? Uh, 
Uh, she is not in this game. I don't think she does, at least. I'm not sure. It's Anju in, uh, you know, in Majora's Mask, of course. Check something real quick. Okay. And keep the horse. I knew all that Ridge Racer would help. What's up with that horse? Is that a Pona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was gonna present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot. I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, that was fun. We have a pony now. Makes overworld travel as an adult pretty good, pretty easy. That's the first race we gotta do today. Well, kind of. The next thing's not a race, it's more just to follow Dante until he says we're good. Some funny looking clothes. Hey, look at this guy sleeping again. Even 
someone like him has had his share of troubles. I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. It's all the Ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. You got an Ocarina? The heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. And that's the last main, it's the last normal song of the game. The rest of them are warps. <laughs> hey. Yeah! Spin time. It's spinny time. Yeah! Yeah, there we go. The Angie version. Yeah, look at look at that guy. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it too much. Time paradoxes. Who cares? <laughs> He's just so mad that we sped up his windmill. We just messed up his windmill. And he's like, yo, stop it. No. <laughs> Alright. Graveyard. Gravekeeper's Diary is here. Whoever reads this, please enter my grave. I will let you have my stretching, shrinking keepsake. Yo, he's got a stretching, sh stretching, shrinking keepsake? That sounds useful. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, Millie hasn't moved in seven years just because she's tired. There's flowers next to this one. May not look like, but I'm confident in my speed. All right, we're going.
I ain't gonna question it. Time of race was 106. You were very quick to be able to keep up with me. It's called the hook shot. Dwarf time blocks, or the, uh, the the time the yeah dwarf time blocks. That's what they are. Hey, look at that! Where's the windmill? <laughs> you know I can make it go faster. with that. That is that. That's another free heart piece up there. Nothing to sell them. So I find it funny, you can still go into to a Dodongo Cavern if you want to, as an adult. Okay, there's that. That one's done.
You bred a new type of miniature cuckoo? I, I've handled a couple in my time. All right, we'll give we'll give it back at some point. <laughs> this is an egg in this trying time. Did I just see that? That's interesting. Hello. It's been a while since I've played the cartridge version of the game. I don't think I've talked to this guy in a long time. Huh. I'm gonna look at that again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the uh, thing do that. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. There's an enter there. I'm playing from a cartridge. I, I think this is the first version of the game, but it's the gray cart version of it, not the gold cart version. That's interesting. That's someone pressing enter. In an Excel file, probably. <laughs> Actually, I don't it, it probably wasn't an Excel file. It was probably a... Uh, it's probably worse. I'll go back to the range. I'm going to see how they're doing. I feel so honored to be allowed to work here. tree here. It's gone now. This place isn't doing well.
y'all doing? I don't have a bow yet, unfortunately. Once I have the bow, life will be better. I'm gonna fly around on a, on a flower, though. traveling around much, mister? Have you ever met a boy named Butts? Might have said the Great Deku Tree weathered because that boy did something wrong to it. Only Saraya defended Butts until she left. Maybe we misunderstood. Excuse me. Hadn't I seen you somewhere before, mister? Why's that fairy following you around? You're not one of us. You didn't have any problems entering the forest, mister. I've not actually talked to these kids in a long time, in a, like in, in actual playthrough. So I'm just curious what they say, kind of curious how they're saying. Whether more meanies have been appearing in the forest, I'm scared. Who wants a sequence break? Anybody?
Oops. He'll come back around. Oops. I gotta hit this kid with a bomb, right? There we go. How could you do this to me? You're your Ganondorf's servant. Hear my name and tremble. I am Butts, hero of the Gorons. Huh? What? Your name is also Butts? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and hero, Butts. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Dad named me Butts after you because you're so brave. Oh, great. <laughs> it's a cool name. I really... See, I see. he says it's a cool name. That's what I say. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Bolvaja living in the mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. They're delicious, that's why. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, boom, destroyed it and just like that. It's a myth, but it's true. My dad's a descendant of the hero.
after we have the tools. Right, yeah, I do. Time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the menu at a forest. Yeah. Sparkles. <laughs> this theme is, uh, yeah, this theme's great. Uh, so that is, yeah, okay, it is about 11. So I'm gonna save this for next stream. Um, because we've been going for about two and a half hours now. Ugh, all right. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here for the night. Uh, I, this is exactly where I wanted to be. Yep, so we will stop here. So next time we stream, which will probably be about Monday, uh, should be, uh, we will start with the Forest Temple, and we will do the Forest Temple because it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And then we'll do some extra stuff after that, and then we'll do... And I've already started on getting to the Fire Temple, so... That should not take it long either. I think y'all guess where my start, start and stopping points are trying to be. <laughs> so y'all have a good rest of the evening and take care. And uh, you're very welcome for... You're very welcome. I'm glad to be streaming. Uh, y'all have a good rest of the evening and take care. Uh, we will be back here probably Monday. To do some more Ocarina of Time. So good night. Good luck. I will see y'all then. Night night. <laughs>